In this tutorial we will show you how to use materials. In latest Arch Interiors for Unreal we used slightly modified approach to materials. We created few base shaders and used material instances. This way we can have real-time interactive preview and unification in shaders. It also saves a lot of time. Almost all materials are instances of base mat, used for surfaces which don't need opacity. The goal was to mimic some of 3ds Max and V-Ray material functionality, like diffuse roughness, which is inverse of glossiness, specular, which is V-Ray reflection. We've taken into account that Unreal uses PBR materials additional metallic channel. The main difference is that metallic surfaces use diffuse color for tinting reflections. Each material comes with color and texture inputs and UV options. Offset texture, 3ds Max real world scale size and UV rotate. But also basic color correction like contrast and color overlay. You can achieve bumpiness with normal maps or black and white bump texture. You can also overlay black and white texture onto normal map as a detail map, for example if you want to have a couch with wrinkles and fabric detail texture. For glass surfaces we created base translucent material with Fresnel angle based opacity and refraction. For making fur or short grass we use displacement shader. Note that if displacement is too large and intersects with other geometry, it can lead to flickering during animation or walkthrough. All our plants are using two-sided foliage and are animation ready, with basic controls like for example speed and intensity of wind. For proper animation, trees require vertex paint. Our tree models in our interiors for UE Vol 2 are a vertex painted, of course. 